Man, that was quick. Let's go, boy. Tank be chopping, forward barber supply. Let's get it. All right, YouTube, check it out, man. We just got a package in from Forward Barber Supply. Y'all know what it is, man. We're gonna open this up. I'm gonna let y'all see what's in the box. But yeah, man, let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, man, like I said, as y'all seen, we got this package in. Shout out to uh, Forward Barber Supply. Just some FYI, if y'all do want to purchase anything off of Forward Barber Supply, y'all can go to fwbarbersupply.com. Use my discount code TANK10, that way you can save yourself some money. But like I was saying, man, we got this package in. Let's go ahead and open this up. Mmm, let's go, baby. Check it out. So we got some new gloves in. Uh, Why well, say new, but it's just a level three gloves. Your boys been needing some gloves. So we got, that hooked your boy up with two packs of gloves. But that's not, that's not why we're here for this video. Let's chunk this out the way. Y'all check this out. Y'all check that out right there. We got the Lithium FX Limited Edition Matte Black. We got the UV Foil Single Shaver Matte Black. Let's get into it, man. Ah. All right, so check it out. As y'all can see, we got the UV single foil shaver. Me personally, I am a fan of single foil shavers. So uh, I'm glad they threw this one in there for your boy. We also got the Lithium FX trimmer. Uh, once again, limited edition as y'all can see. I am a fan of the Lithium FX clippers and trimmers, the whole combo set. So I'm excited about this. And then we also got the Lithium FX clipper as y'all can see. But let's go ahead and start off with the shaver first. All right, so here is the UV foil single shaver. As you heard me say earlier, I am a fan of single foils. I have the gunmetal one on my station, and now I have this one. I also have the uh, Stylecraft Uno 2.0. Like I said, I'm a fan of single foil shavers, especially when it comes to over the lip, you know what I'm saying, lining up right here, behind the beard, behind the ear, all that good stuff. But uh, we got it right here. Kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, UV disinfecting metal single foil shaver. Y'all check that out. So it's basically the same thing as the original UV single foil. Only difference is, is this one comes in a nice matte black. Let's go ahead and check out some of the stuff on the back. UV disinfecting lid, kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, UV light indicator, auto shut off, hypoallergenic blue titanium foil, 10,000 RPM high speed motor, high capacity lithium ion battery with over five and a half hours of runtime, sleek metal housing with ergonomic grip, standard and USB-C charging ports, storage pouch included. But let's go ahead and open this up. Uh-oh, drop something. All it was was the user manual and the little pouch, but we can go ahead and chunk that to the side. Let's get back to unboxing this UV single foil shaver. All right, so check it out. Here is the UV single foil shaver. We got the lid right here. We got the foil shaver right here.
I'm being 100% honest with y'all, man. Check that out, I just put the, the lid on. We got the UV light lit up. That means the UV light is working. So this is like a really premium filling shaver. Like it's all metal body. It just feels nice and sturdy in the hand. As you can see, we got a thumb grip right here. We, a, we also got a groove back here in case you wanna, you know, put your fingers right there to hold it when you're shaving. Uh, check it out. That's the foil that comes on the shaver as y'all can see. Check that out, man. It's a, ni it's a nice looking shaver. All matte black. We got the Babyless Pro branding right here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but we got the Babyless Pro branding right there. Nice and quiet shaver. But let's go ahead and see what else comes in the box. So we also get the charging cord, and that's basically all that comes in the box is the UV foil shaver and the charging cord. Now let's go ahead and move on to the trimmer. Here is the Lithium FX matte black trimmer, as y'all can see right here, nice packaging. You can run it corded or cordless. Lithium ergonomic trimmer, new blue ultra thin DLC titanium T-blade, so it does come with the new blade on there. Long life DC motor, 6800 RPMs, ergonomic grip housing, lithium ion battery over four hours of cordless runtime, LED low battery indicator, universal charging port, FX cord included. So once again, y'all check that out. But let's go. Go ahead and open up this bad boy. All right, so once we open it, we can we can check out the trimmer a little better. Let's take the trimmer out of here. Like I said earlier, man, I've, I've always been a fan of the Lithium FX uh, clipper and the trimmer. The trimmers are super dope trimmers, man. Check it out, we do got the blue FX. Let me see if, if it'll focus. There we go, we do got the blue FX blade on there. Y'all check that out. Let's go ahead and turn this on for y'all. Check that out. We got the on and off switch right here. We have the skeletonized, you know, area right here. The charging port down here, so you need to plug it up. All matte black, as y'all can see. We got the Babyless Pro branding right there. I don't know if y'all can see that. But we got the Babyless Pro blend branding right there. Quiet trimmer. Let's go ahead and see what else comes in the box. So let's open up this. So underneath we get some oil, zero gap setter, brush. Let's chunk that to the side. We also get the, uh, the charging cord. And then we also get another can follower in, in case it gets too loud. And then we get uh, the booklet. All right, so once again, here is the trimmer. Let's go, man. Let's go ahead and move on to the clipper. So here is the Lithium FX Clipper, cordless lithium ergonomic clipper, limited edition, that matte black. You know, I done said that a couple times in this video, but the matte black clipper, as y'all can see, we got a new blue titanium wedge blade, five detent taper control, now extends up to 4.2 millimeters, long life ball bearing DC motor. It runs uh, 6,800 RPMs, 
ergonomic grip housing, redesigned on and off switch location, lithium ion battery with two hours of cordless runtime, LED low battery indicator, universal charging port, and it comes with the FX cord and eight comb attachments. So once again, y'all check that out. Here is the lithium FX matte black clipper. Let's go ahead and open this up. Check it out, that's the clipper. Mm. Clipper looks nice. Let's put that to the side. As y'all can see, we got the matte black with the, with the blue accents. I don't know if y'all can see the blue accents on there, but man, this thing looks nice with the blue accents. We got the blue wedge blade. I know some people aren't a fan of the wedge blades. Uh, me personally, I'm. it depends on the clipper. You know, I, I've had them on my custom FX clippers, but we're gonna run this one on here. I like the gold wedge blade, so we're gonna see if I like this blue one, but it looks nice on the clipper nonetheless. As you can see, we do have the click lever right here. And it also says, basically, it's got like a stretch lever on there. So we got like a little stretch lever on the clipper. So I'm excited about that. On and off switch is right here. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Super quiet clipper. Super, super quiet. Check that out, man. And then we also have the charging port down here, as y'all can see. But yeah, man, the clipper looks nice. Matte black, y'all know what it is, man. Your boy gonna have to rock with this. All right, but let's see what else comes in the box. So let's go ahead and take this part off. As you can see, we get some guards. Uh, we get a blade cover. What kind of guards are these, matter of fact? Oh, we do get, man, the guards are nice. Even the guards are nice. We get the premium guards, but they have like a, a blue tint on them. I don't know if y'all can see the opening right now, but we get some guards. Uh, we get the charging cord. We get the little thing to clean the clipper. Like I said, we get the blade cover. And then we also get, well, this is the one and the half guard. And then we also get the manual that we ain't never gonna look at. But, let, but let's go ahead and check out these guards real quick, man. I'm gonna go ahead and open up these. Check it out. I'm just gonna take one guard out. I don't wanna lose them. All right, check it out. We got the 1.5 guard out. Like I said earlier, man, it's got the little blue, the blue metal clip on there. Super nice, man. Let me grab the clipper, put it on there. Woo! I think, man, I don't know. There's something about that blue and that black, that combo, it just looks nice together. Man, I'm excited about this. As you can hear, we got it on with the clipper. Sounds good, sounds ready to go. But y'all know what it is, man. Uh, we're gonna try out these tools. I'm lying, hold on. We're gonna try out all three of these tools. We have the matte black lithium FX trimmer, the lithium FX clipper, and the matte black UV single foil. Y'all know what it is, man. We're gonna try these things out and I'm gonna let y'all know what I think about them. Let's get it.
All right, YouTube. So as y'all seen in the video, your boy was putting to use the matte black lithium FX clipper. Check it out, man. We do got the blue wedge blade on there. We got a click lever on this side. Check that out. We got uh, kind of like a stretch lever on here, on and off switches right here. We got the uh, charging port down here, as y'all can see. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the clipper for y'all one more time. Check that out. Super quiet clipper. Super, super quiet. But we got the clipper. We got the lithium FX trimmer as well. Check that out. We got the blue FX blade on there. Let me see if it'll focus. All right, we got the blue FX blade. Turn it on for y'all so y'all can hear a little better. Super quiet trimmer. Once again, on and off switch right here, charging port right here, and then we have the matte black UV single foil shaver. Let's take off the cap. So I don't know, yeah, y'all can see in the video, we got blue shaver head on here with the blue foils on the shaver head. Super quiet motor on the uh, on the shaver also. Just gotta turn that down. And then when you put the cap on, we do get UV lighting to help disinfect the shaver. But let's go ahead and jump and jump into my review on these tools. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the clipper. Once again, guys, check it out. This is the matte black lithium FX clipper. Y'all seen your boy using it in the video. Uh, all in all, I think it's a good tool. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, I am a fan of the Lithium FX Clippers. So I was I was really rocking with this tool. I was really enjoying the way it was working, enjoying the way it was cutting. Uh, when it comes to debulking, it does debulk well. However, it can feel like it's not. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? Like it cuts down the hair the way it should, but compared to like the, uh, the low pro FX one or the gold FX ones, it doesn't feel as powerful when it's mowing through that bulk. Now, once again, it does cut the hair down very quickly and it gets it down to that length. It just doesn't feel like it's going as smoothly. Now I asked the clients how they felt with it and they said it felt fine. So they ain't complaining and they got the job done. So you really can't complain about that, right? Uh, once again, we do got a super quiet motor on this clipper. Uh, we have the wedge blade on there, and I'm gonna be 100% honest with y'all. I wasn't a fan. I wasn't a big fan of the black wedge blade that came on the like the low pros. Uh, but when the lithium FX came out with the gold wedge blade, I, I kind of like the wedge blade. You know what I'm saying? So I'm having mixed feelings about the blue wedge blade. Uh, all in all, it does work good. Does get the job done. It does debulk really well, and it does fade well. And me personally, I like when clippers have stretch levers on them because. It just, it just makes it a little easier for me. You know, I've been using stretch levers on most of my clippers for the past couple months now, and I just feel that it makes my haircuts come out better and quicker. So I like when clippers have a little stretch lever on them. Now, as far as ergonomics, me personally, I do like the ergonomics of this clipper. I know some people don't, but me personally, I like it. It feels comfortable in the hand to me. I do like the click levers. Uh, I enjoy click levers. I have no issue with click levers. And all in all, I would say that it is a good all around clipper. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into talking about the trimmer. So here is the lithium FX trimmer. As you can see, we got the blue FX blade on there. Uh, to me, it feels like it's just the original gold FX blade, just with a, a blue coating of paint on it opposed to the gold. Uh, when I first got this out the box, it didn't seem to bald or line up as short as I like, so I did zero gap this tool. And if you are interested in a video of me showing you how to zero gap the Babyliss blades, let me know down in the comments and I'll do that for you. But uh, I did have to zero gap this blade, or at least gap it a little closer. That way, it can get the it can get it can work the way I wanted it to work. And once I gap this blade closer, it, it was working great. Like I love the way it was balding out. Love the way it transitioned from the shaver to my clipper clothes. And I liked the way it was lining up. You know, it wasn't it wasn't too aggressive. And got the hair down and, I, and it left no irritation on my client. So you really can't complain when you got a trimmer that's lining up well, that's balding well, and it's, and it's not irritating the clients. Uh, ergonomically, I am a fan of this trimmer. I know some people don't like the ergonomics of it. I like it because it's nice, small, and compact. And I, I just feel that it has, you know, them, them it, ha it has a trimmer vibe. You know what I'm saying? It's not as big as a clipper, obviously. So it's supposed to be smaller, but it, it feels good and it, it works good. You know, you really can't complain when you have a trimmer that feels good and works good, right? And you know, 
Labelist is notorious for their skeleton, uh, skeletonized trimmers. Uh, I like that it has that. Obviously, that's something that I'm already used to, especially with all the new tools coming out. They're being more skeletonized or whatever. But uh, I, I like it, man. All in all, I would say it is a good trimmer. Once I zero gapped it, I did enjoy using it. And I'm probably going to keep this on a station, do a couple videos with y'all. Who, who knows, man? I may do a giveaway. If y'all want me to do a giveaway on this set, let me know down in the comments. But uh, I'm enjoying using this right now. And like I said, we do got the black on black, nice and sleek looking tool, right? So all in all, once again, I think it's a great tool, bars out well and lines up well. Now we're going to move on to the Babyliss Matte Black Single Foil Shaver. Now, they do have a double foil shaver, but when I was talking to uh, Forward Barber Supply, they asked me which one would I prefer using. And me personally, I like using single foil shavers. I know single foil shavers aren't for everybody. I know sometimes you want the double foils when it comes to balding and stuff, but I do a lot of tapers, uh, you know what I'm saying? And I use my single foils for the mustache area, the goatee, you know, behind the beard, under the, under the neck and everything. So I was like, you know what? Send me that single foil. I'm good with the single foil. I'm pretty sure I can make this work. And I'm glad I chose that because even though it is a single foil, it's super powerful and it does really well when it comes to balding out the whole head. So if like you're doing a fade, it balds out fairly quickly. You know, you, you can't get away with just using this without having to use a double foil and it still balds out well and it makes the hair nice and short the way you need it when you're doing a skin fade. Now, I do like that they come with the blue, the blue, uh, the blue foil head. Uh, I think it's the same thing as the original foil head. They just wanted it to match, you know, the, the trimmer and the clipper. And like I said, I just think it, it looks nice. So why not? Right. Uh, we have a thumb groove on this side and on this side, on both sides of the shaver. And it really makes it comfortable when you're holding the shaver, whether you're holding it this way or this way, it feels really comfortable in hand. So check out them blue shaver, them blue foils one more time. And then I don't know if y'all know this, but once you put the cap back on, as you, I don't know if y'all can see that, but it has it says UV. But once you put the cap on the shaver, the UV light lights up and it's basically let, letting you know that it's disinfecting the actual foil head, you know, while, when, when you put the cap back on. So you put this cap back on and it's disinfecting the foil head while it's, you know, sitting on the side waiting for you to pick it back up. Now, me personally, I still spray my shaver and my clippers between each client, but you can probably get away with just putting the foil head back on there. We do have the regular charging port and then a USB-C charging port right here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on for y'all in case y'all haven't heard it. As y'all can hear, it, it sounds powerful enough to get the job done, and that's all that really matters. So all in all, guys, I would say that these three tools, I wouldn't say they were a must cop because if you already have a clipper, a trimmer, and a shaver, you don't need to cop these, right? But if you are interested in them and you want some new tools, they get the job done. They work really well. The trimmer lines up well. The clipper works well. You know, it debulks and it fades well. And me personally, I am a fan of single four shavers. So this probably gonna be be my go tos for a minute. You know, you may see a couple tutorials on my channel using these tools but uh if you are interested in these tools you can go to fwbarbersupply.com you can use my discount code tank10 that way you can save yourself some money on this purchase uh really that's on anything on the website so you ain't you ain't just gotta buy these tools you can buy whatever you want and use my discount code tank10 at fwbarbersupply.com but like i said guys all in all great tools i'm gonna keep them on my station i'm gonna keep rocking with them and uh with that being said man that's basically it for this video if you like this video please make sure to smash that like button and also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. And that's basically it, YouTube. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, let's go.